Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon, I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Today we're doing a whiskey review. <clears throat> Portland whiskey, uh, it rye. is a rye whiskey. Uh, and there's a fun little fact I'm going to tell you, a little story from the side of the bottle. It is Do you want to read James it? Oliver Rye Whiskey. So, as soon as Josh is done pouring, it is a hundred proof... Uh, New American Oak, Rose City Distilling. Also, a little note we did find out on this. It is an MGP product Sourced. coming out of Indiana. Um, they make great <clears throat> products. Distilleries utilize them. There's some big, big boys that utilize <clears throat> their spirits as well. MGP has been making whiskey uh, for a long, long time, over 100 years. And I appreciate, so, sometimes I appreciate the source because... You try to put a product out too soon because you're making it yourself. They just aren't very good. It, we tried. We just good. had one earlier, and yeah, it's almost better to get something similar to your profile. You're going to have eventually, and then mm -hmm. source it. So that is absolutely true. Uh, I'm going to go into a little fun fact for y'all. Hope you're pouring a dram with you so you can enjoy this. Uh, here is the story. Let's We're going to get story time I'm today. Tell this while you tell the story. Uncle That's Joe. why my glasses are here. James Oliver Rye Whiskey. The story goes that a 14-year-old young James Oliver was hunting pheasant one fall day and happened upon a contraption in the middle of a large cornfield. Underneath a huge metal kettle, a fire was burning. Hmm. He found a copper still steaming with a new batch of whiskey. Suddenly, two men came out of the cornfield with raised shotguns. That is not unlike some family stories I have myself of my family <laughs> back in Kentucky. <clears throat> Luckily for James, they recognized him <clears throat> and lowered their weapons. The two men would soon give him a five gallon, five gallon barrels of rye and a delivery schedule ranging from New Albany, Mississippi to Memphis, Tennessee. Ah, there's some southern boys there with their shotguns. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> Along the way, John, James Oliver learned the art of making whiskey. With the start of World War II, James gave up his moonshine venture and moved west to Oregon, where he spent the last years of his life working the shipyards and fishing the waters of the great northwest. That story was brought by his grandson, it looks like Bob... Oliver, I'm guessing it's a it's a signature, so it's very difficult to read. But there may be some validity to that. A cute story, and here it even says distilled in Indiana story. and bottled by Rose City. So let's pop this puppy back up here. Pop the top, and then we're gonna take my glasses off because I don't need them anymore to read. What are you getting on the nose, my friend? Well, it's funny because at first I forgot it was a rye, and we just yeah. we just had a uh, single malt. So at first I, I smelled it, I was like, whoa. Because the it's got it just smells like a rye. It's got that heavy grass. It does. Peppery, little There's little caramel. I got some vanilla in vanilla. there. Vanilla. Good, Good color. Note. It's Good got nose for age. a rye. It's not it like it does. It's got some age to it. <laughs> oh, if it's coming out of MGP, I'm Yeah, it's I'm, gonna be good. It's gonna I'm be sure. a decent whiskey. They they don't put out anything that's not um, quality. Ooh, that's got a nice nose. Yeah. Some vanilla. That rye grass is forward. Yeah. That spice, but it's not it's not real peppery. No. I, I don't well, a lot of pepper. No. I bet it's gonna be peppery on the palate. Probably. Good color. Let's see how it is. It's not super uh, dark, but the legs are pretty quick on it, so it might be kind of a, a quick finishing whiskey. Doesn't linger on the palate for too long. I'm excited. Yeah, let's so try it. Let's try Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, yeah, and it's 100 proof. Yes. That's just like, man, it's hot. Yeah, it tastes like rye. It does taste like rye. But it's it's, 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 it's not, it's soft. not. Yes. 
it's got a softness Soft, to it right. for a hundred proof. Uh, my tongue isn't immediately numb. And there's not a whole lot of pepper. I think. No, there's not. It's kind of sweet. Mm-hmm. Kind of got a sweet. You note do definitely get the rye though. The like rye bread, like a warm like a rye bread. Yeah. Try uh, taking a breath with your mouth instead of just solid. Telling me to be a mouth breather. Yeah, kind of like kinda a mouth really breather. Am. It's a different nose. I still got some on my tongue. Hold on. Mm. Smells the same. Your technique isn't any different for me. Mm. But I kind of already burned my tongue. I rather, <laughs> I rather like it. Yeah, that's a good rye. Uh-huh. I didn't. I've seen it so many times in the liquor right. store. I'm like, John Oliver out of Oregon. This was also. I need to put that out there. Another shout out. This was also one of the deliveries from my good buddy Joe. Mm. He brought over um, several bottles for us to try on his motorcycle. So uh, thank you very much, Joe, for thank this you. one. Uh, we had a tipple down in the <clears> bar <throat> before we left, um, so I kind of remembered what it was like. It's a good rye. It's a nice yeah, rye. Yeah, it's a good rye. Um, do you know what I sent home with him? No. Dad's hat rye. Ooh. We actually tried it. I told him the truth. It was not good. Dad's hat rye, I'm going to throw it out there, stinks. Why do people swear by it? It is terrible I don't get it. Rye. It is not. It has won awards. I I'm know. Like, I gave him that, and I gave him the Rebel Yell. Oh, it's the regular old Rebel Yell? Old Rebel Yell. I sent those home with him. He tasted the dad's hat. <clears throat> and Joe is a uh, blossoming whiskey geek just like us he's growing his palate and learning all those things and he's like i'll, I'll mix that in soda i'm oh. like as you should bro that is not a neat drinker dad's hat right i was so excited to get it too. i know we went all the way we went we went on a trek to get yeah. it at least 50 60 miles to go get this these bottles blows it out of the water oh completely completely and do you know how much it is did we check the price <clears throat> i didn't find one oh because that's in our uh, liquor store is it it has been i've seen it huh yeah i've seen i look at it uh, all the time if I find a price, I'll put it when I edit the maybe, video and everything. Maybe I can while you're chatting. Yeah, um, I'll put it up there anyway for you all to see. Uh, good nose. It lingers. It's a good rye. It lingers on the pal- palate. Um, <laughs> it is... <clears throat> it's really not reminiscent of any other rye I've tried. Um, no. There is... You know, I told <laughs> Joe this too. There's James a funk. Oliver. There's also a funky nose. That's what I got it when has I first. A funky nose. That's when I um, when I first smelled it. Like if you well, when you edit the video, you'll see me because you're talking, and I smell it. I'm like, wow, it almost smelled yeah. like a sock or something. I, you know what I? I got the same funky nose that I got from when Joe and I tried it here in the bar. Dude, it's twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks. Wow. Well, I guess rye are usually cheaper, anyways. Yeah. And that's from our state that's liquor worth, division. That's worth twenty five bucks all day long. Oh, absolutely. Wow. You know, the nose has got some vanilla. Initially, I didn't want to say this out loud, but I I thought of it when I tried it with Joe. Yeah. I don't want to turn anyone off because it's kind of this is kind of gross. My initial thought, initially, instantly on my pa- my brain was throw up. I could see that. I wonder why. I don't know. It's got a weird... It was very off-putting. Yeah. But it ta- the taste is great. No. And please don't discredit this whiskey because of the nose that I get. The right. initial... This, the initial was just a hint of throw up. So weird. That is weird. And it was very off-putting Now that you say first. I would smell it every time. So... <laughs> Oh, no, that, see, now that's because I just drank some, so yeah. then that smell was just pure like Better. rye. I have a spot of water. That's a good rye, man. 25 bucks. Great Shoot. rye. Great rye. Interesting nose. Cast Somewhat off pit, off pudding. Have nose. You'll yeah. see it when you watch the video. You'll see me. I'm all. Oh, really? <laughs> it smelled like that. Yeah. Which for me is more like feet. There you go. But. It's not like like you said. It's not super strong. It's just a, like no. a hint. And then 
you get the other stuff. But but you can really turn someone off. And I, I didn't say that, Joe. I know you'll watch our videos because you, you are a dedicated subscriber. I didn't say throw up when you were here in the bar um, because it is very off-putting to just say, I got a hint that to throw like up. That tastes like puke. <laughs> I got a hint to throw up. I think it's good. But I, I'd it recommend is, it for oh, sure. Absolutely. Especially if you like rye. I think it's a good rye. Very good rye. Got some age to it. <laughs> Who knows? And that's just my pop, my nose. But he got socks. I yeah. got a hint to throw up. And not in clean, addition, not clean socks. No. In, in addition <laughs> to some grain characteristics and some I other characteristics, the rye or and it could be that it's variety so of rye. Yeah. The it's nose funny. does <laughs> not match the taste. No. At it's very all. smooth. If for hundred proof, it's very smooth. Very smooth rye. Great, great whiskey. Eh, for the nose, yeah. the nose is a little. St- yeah, if you guys, if you have it and uh, if you've tried it, and you, you think the nose smells like something else that's gross. You can put it right. in the comments. Put it see in. what let's, you think. Let's see what. Because I get. got feet, he got throw up. Joe, not really selling this very well, but we're it's not, good. It is a great it's whiskey. Still, Price see, is great. <laughs> Taste is great. I would sip this. I yeah. would sip this, and I'm not a rye guy. Yeah. I wouldn't add water for me. Yeah, because it's gonna bring out. I the, think it's gonna make the rye. No, not doing it. Yeah, you shouldn't. Not doing it. It might make the throw up stronger. No. <laughs> that would be too much for me. This is a good whiskey. Yep. Put aside the nose. The whiskey itself on the palate yep. is very good. MGP, great products. It has to be the grain, uh, the type of rye they're using. Maybe the yeast. Who knows? And, and yeah, because yeast has a lot flavor. more un- influence. 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 It has a lot more influence than people give it credit. Right. It really, really really does um, a lot of your botanicals and spices and stuff mm-hmm. come from the yeast and as it ages in the barrel as we learned uh, the yeast characteristics in the rye comes out more Correct. than the barrel <clears throat> so good whiskey decent price yeah great 20, price 25 bucks 25 24.95 or something so killer price for a good rye yeah. got some age to it don't know how old but it, it obviously it's at least four years it, at yeah least. it has the characteristic of a four to six year whiskey What's like um, two years? Like, yeah, yeah. Idiots. I just I can't see that being a two no. year whiskey. It for how smooth it is for no. hundred proof? For no, not at all. That's no. smoother than um, Rittenhouse. No, I like no, Rittenhouse. No, it's smoother than Evan Williams bottle and bond. It's a hundred. Yeah, it's oh for sure. Proof, and this is a smooth sipper. Yep. Uh, I got nothing else. <clears> no, it's good whiskey. If you can find it, pick it up. Yep. Thank you, Joe, for Thanks, another Joe. delivery. He's the whiskey delivery. Yeah, you keep delivering. That'd be awesome. We'll keep doing them. You find more, we'll deliver them, my friend. I think that's it. Yeah. As always, enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons. Any way you like. like. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.